Hi, I'm Ade from Google Developer Relations, and I'm here with Marius from Tubi. Hi, I'm Marius, and I'm the CTO of Tubi. Very happy to be here. Great. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yeah, um, I've been at Tubi for about uh, four and a half, going into five years now. I uh, run the engineering team there. And um, I'm very, very, very passionate about uh, movies uh, and TV shows. Okay. Could you tell me a little bit about Tubi? Yeah. So um, Tubi is uh, a video on demand streaming service. It is uh, very much like um, you may have heard of Netflix or Hulu, HBO, um, any one of those that are uh, popping up these days. Um, the big difference is that Tubi is 100% free. We don't want your money. We don't want your credit card. You can use the Tubi app on any of uh, the streaming devices uh, we support, and we pretty much support all of them, and immediately start streaming uh, a movie or a TV show out of our library of 23,000. So how has Tubi taken advantage of Android's 5G APIs to bring to market a user-requested feature? Before we jump into the um, Android APIs, um, the way we do development at Tubi is to start small and iterate. So the first thing we did is consider the user request is, you know, I have a meter connection. Um, I'm on my phone, I want to watch, but I'm concerned that I'm going to get all these additional charges. So we introduce a data saver option that is within the Tubi app that the users can toggle. And we did that in a control uh, fashion. We experimented and we saw that users were not only requesting it, but they were actually using it. So we saw users going to their settings, turning it on, and we even saw um, increased uh, engagement because of that. Uh, users would watch more. And then uh, we coordinated with our um, uh, developer counterparts at Google and they introduced us a lot of the 5G initiatives that Google is doing including an API where the data saver option and the meter connection options are available system-wide for all apps to use. So we'll be releasing a new version that makes uh, extensive use of those. So looking into the future a little bit, what sort of step changes do you expect to see in consumer apps because of 5G? Well, that's the big question. You know, what, what does 5G bring to the table? So at the very obvious, it is a faster 4G with more bandwidth and lower latency. So immediate thing that you can think of is, you know, I can watch a movie without being concerned about buffering. Um, and it can be like a much smoother experience. Then you can take it a step up and say, okay, before we would, you know, be very conscious of the fact that the user's on a mobile device and we try to stream standard definition. Speeds go faster, we start streaming a higher HD, HD content. And then with 5G being more widespread, that opens up possibilities, for example, to be streaming even 4K content. And that's just the things that we can imagine today that are obvious. Obviously, once you have the added bandwidth and the lower latency and all the other uh, benefits that 5G brings, then uh, you can start imagining new things that you wouldn't have even thought of before. So how will 5G make your particular life better? Well, when developing, especially for mobile, um, we have to remember that mobile phones were not really designed for long sessions um, like Movie Watch. Uh, it's not a coincidence that a lot of the most popular apps on mobile center around short form content um, because, you know, opening up that communication channel to a tower and downloading data for long durations of time uh, in itself is not something mobile phones, it's not the primary use case for a mobile phone. Now, add that, the fact that the user can hold their mobile phone and move around, or maybe they're commuting, uh, plus there's a battery life, plus there's meter connection. So all that stuff required tremendous engineering work to uh, be able to make that a smooth experience. With 5G, that makes a lot of those things easier. It brings extra bandwidth to the table, 
Uh, faster download speeds means you need your um, radio open for less time, means potentially improved battery life. So now our engineering efforts can go into improving the product itself, adding more features, uh, improving the personalization, a lot of things that don't have to do with managing the logistics around mobile communications. So how has 5G already made your life better? It allows me to start thinking about, okay, how can we use this? So that makes my life better in that I allow uh, myself and my team to expand our horizons. Uh, personally, in areas where I live where 5G is available, um, the you know increased bandwidth and faster download speeds are obviously always uh, welcome. Uh, my personal favorite is the lower latency. That's what I, as a user, personally seem to benefit the most. Okay. And then finally, which 5G device are you looking forward to the most? Personally, I am a um, Samsung user. So I've been uh, just following the releases of the, um, the S line. Okay. Thank you very much. Ooh.